Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today I am uh, I want to demonstrate a 60 degree inverted orthotic that's being used for a patient who has severe posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. Uh, this is actually the third orthotic de device made off the same original cast for the left foot. Uh, the original cast was poured with a uh, pink uh, dye and so you can see where there's a K for the Kirby Skive around the heel and around the fourth uh, metatarsal shaft. That's the only part of the original foot that, uh, that shows. Uh, all the rest is the expansions that are, that are applied. Now, there's another important area uh, where you see patient's uh, last name and then reset to 60 degrees. And then the 9.6 is the original width of the foot. So it's important to keep that uh, in mind because when you're inverting the foot, you can lose the overall um, reference to uh, the, the width and, and end up making an orthotic that's too wide or too narrow. Now the marked lines here along the fifth metatarsal shaft uh, are to remind you to keep when you're resetting the, the platforms just keep this flat in relationship to the platform uh, so the, there's no uh, abnormal angulation uh, along the um, fifth metatarsal. When you invert the foot, you want to have the foot rest onto a flat surface. Now I'm showing the um, uh, the actual cant of the foot. You can see how the pink area with the Kirby uh, creates a nice uh, inversion force uh, on the foot. Uh, you can see how the um, the, the, the lines uh, mark the high point of the correction. There, there, there cannot be too much support under the first metatarsal, which needs to plantar flex. So the two arrows are around the talonavicular joint and navicular first cuneiform. Those should be the high point of the correction, and then the orthotic should um, separate from the foot from there. You can see how we've added in the heel area, more material to uh, give us our deep heel cup. We usually go to a 23 or 25 uh, degree uh, heel cup. And then it's important to always, of course, measure the amount of uh, correction. And you can see with this uh, um, orthotic that we're we're near a 60 degree uh, inverted cant on our uh, tractograph. And then probably the last point that I forgot to mention is that when you deal with the Kirby Skive, you need to find the contact point on the, the ground, so the lowest point on the, on the cat, and then the Skive goes medial to that when designing uh, the inversion. So this is normally a very comfortable orthotic. I hope that it uh, takes some of the um, the unknown out of uh, uh, making a, a 60 degree inverted orthotic. It would give uh, in the general um, for the general patient it would give a uh, 12 degree in inverted change to the foot. It's normally a five to one relationship to the amount of correction you put in the orthotic uh, to the amount of correction that's seen at the foot. So if a patient had a 12 degree everted resting position, then the 60 degree inverted orthotic would get them very close to uh, vertical. And, and uh, the Kirby I applied probably adds another two or three deg uh, degrees of inversion force uh, to the, uh, the orthotic itself. All right, thank you very much.